your coach talked about toughness and and wanting to be. He feels like you got some talent, and togetherness, and that toughness piece. Uh, what, what have you guys talked about as players as it relates to that that topic this summer? And, and what are you guys ready to prove about your physical Maybe, and mental toughness? Probably, I'd say show the strides that we've been making in the summer. I mean, Duval and his staff has been doing a great job of actually getting us truly strong. It was probably the strongest that we've been um, as a unit since I've been here. And I mean, now it's just about executing that, not being afraid of hitting. I mean, now uh, just going, going full speed, whatever it takes, and being ready to bring it every single day. Gerald and Tanner played a lot of snaps here. I mean, what's your level of confidence in the guys you have in your room right now that can replace those two? Um, extremely high. I mean, it's it's a game where no matter what, whether we lose all five guys one year or we lose one, I mean, the next guy up is always going to be ready. He's always going to be prepared now. Um, some of the guys are going to be pretty new, and they're going to have a little bit of the first game jitters. But after the jitters are gone, I think it's going to be a solid foundation, and we're going to be ready to rock like nothing's uh, changed. Scott mentioned Will was going to get the first crack at center to start camp. What have you seen out of him, just his growth, and also if you could explain kind of how your relationship is teammates and brothers and how it's all worked? Um, I mean, I've just seen him kind of learn that, I mean, he's not the big fish anymore. He's kind of learned that he can't just be the bigger kid and just try and lean on someone and get the job done. He's got to really rely on technique as, I mean, everyone's kind of his size or bigger, so he can't, he can't get lazy with this uh, technique and he can't. Um, relax on anything he's doing. Granted, that's what everyone needs to be doing. But his, um, with him, it's a little more emphasized. And I mean, he's he's always accepted a challenge. He's never been one to back away. So I mean, he's always ready. And I mean, he's always he always wants to learn. He always wants to kind of figure out what he can do better. And so I mean, that with me and the being my little brother, it's really easy. If anything, I kind of may over push him just because. He's my little brother, and I want him to be as successful as he can be. And uh, sometimes I kind of have to like know when to back off, which I don't really tend to do. So he kind of he kind of gets the brunt side of me the most, where um, and he knows that everything I do is for his best interest. So he's never really too upset about it. He's probably just more annoyed and angry with me sometimes. <laughs> hey Matt, and Coach Frost says that he sees a different look on the faces of the guys around. The, the building this year what you know how do you interpret that and what does that mean to you um to me it really means like we understand what it takes to win a football game and i mean winning and losing um are kind of habits that you can create and when you create any type of habit it's always gonna be hard to break and as you saw through the end of the season we kind of started to figure out how to create winning habits how to become a winning team and i mean i think that's kind of what shows we kind of we have a confidence to ourselves. We're not cocky, but we trust what we're going to do and we believe in what we're going to do. So it makes it uh, that much easier to play in the game and uh, just go and play football. Hey Matt, uh, what do you think of the uh, the expectations that have been placed on you guys? It seems like a, you know some people are picking you to win the West. Uh, is that something that you welcome? And given that this is year two under Coach Frost. Uh, does it surprise you that maybe uh, people have those kinds of expectations? Um, honestly, I, I, it's not really that big of a deal to whatever um, expectations people um, put on us because at the end of the day, you should always think you're going to be a winner. You never should go into a fight thinking you're going to lose because you're going to lose. So everything, whatever your expectations are, um, I think they always should be high. And for uh, me personally, it's really not, it doesn't matter what the end goal is. Right now, my, my main goal is win week one. I mean, it doesn't matter if, if you can win week 12, if you can't win weeks one through 11. So the main focus for me is just every week, take it week by week, take it day by day, and just win, win the next day, win today, and uh, that's it. Now you guys added a lot of new faces to your room. I mean, how important is it now for the veterans to, to show these guys the ropes? I think there's six scholarship numbers they've added, um, and some guys that could potentially get on the field this year. Um, I mean, it's the same as always. I mean, the new guys is always going to be a learning curve from college ball to, uh, or from high school ball to college ball. So, um, I mean, it's just kind of you got to take them under your wing. You got to kind of understand that. I mean, it's it's going to be a little bit more of understanding that you can't just be um, 
the big kid that can just lean on someone that can just shove someone over without trying. It's now you got to focus on technique. You got to get the steps right. And I mean, like we got a great bunch of kids. Like they, they recruited the right type of kids too. So they they they're willing to learn. They understand that you know I'm not perfect. I don't I'm not some guy that's going to wake up and be the next Hall of Fame O lineman that just can walk onto the field. They know that this is a game of technique and it's a game. Um, just it's a technique game and power game, and they understand that, so they're always willing to learn and take the advice from the older guys. How much uh, physical progress has has Will made in the last year, and where have you seen you know what kind of progress have you seen him make just in the weight room and bulking up in that regard? I mean, honestly, it's a ton. I, I mean, from where he started his freshman year when he first got here to now, I mean, I think he's he's kind of like flirting with 300 pounds, and I mean, all of his numbers have gone up dramatically. I mean. Like, you don't have a choice either with the staff. I mean, <laughs> with Duvall, it's, you're either going to get really, really strong or you're going to get really, really, really strong. I mean, he doesn't give you a chance to back off. It's a, it's a constant we're going to go mentality, and it's, it's awesome because you don't have a choice except to get bigger, get better, get stronger. It's, it's amazing. I feel like you look more like a, big ten, a top Big Ten line than when you first got here, when you look around the room and body types and all that stuff? Um, I think we, I think we always have. It was just um, we just had to we had to be more focused. We, we didn't quite have the best, um, I'd say, like uh, mentality. I think we kind of had the we're great, so it doesn't matter as much as the technique. And where now it's it's um, each person is like, I want to have the best technique possible and I want to do everything right. It was just more of a technique focus where you can just really grind it out and get ready to go. You're a very, you're a very <coughs> versatile guy, and I know Greg Austin appreciates that about. Do you do you feel like you're locked in the right tackle, or could you move around throughout the camp if there's if there's honestly there? I have no idea. That's where the coaches decide. Wherever they tell me, I'll go play it. It doesn't matter. Whatever they want me to do, I mean, if they want me to go and play safety, I'll go and figure out how to play safety. Else for Matt. Okay. Well, Penn Stilly next. Thank you, Matt.